love telling stories. I grew up on my grandmother's front porch where storytelling was a real art. I grew up in Morganton, North Carolina, in the, as I put it in a song, in the shadow of the Blue Ridge Rain, in a pretty town by the river, cold water that would make you shiver even in the summertime. My dad was quite an artist. I wrote a book about him called Blue Ridge Reunion. He did watercolors of the mountains. A lot of his creative blood is flowing in my veins. I had an intense fascination with radio when I was young. I got a transistor radio when I was 10 years old and I would go under the covers at night and listen to all of these broadcasts from all over the country. And I just dreamed of one day doing that for, for a living. I worked as a disc jockey for a while and I didn't feel fulfilled and so I got into news. And I worked at a radio station in Winston-Salem with Rick Dees. <laughs> who was my, one of my best buddies in college. He played the music, I did the news, 2020 news. And I went to Carolina, worked at WKIX with people like John Tesh. I taught John how to run the board. You know, it, was, it was his first job. I just fell in love with the business. I had several people showing interest in me as a television person. And so I just decided to make the move. I became a weekend anchor. I did the Tar Heel Traveler. I did some pretty intense environmental reporting. That was probably the most gratifying part of my career, you know, exploring pollution issues, not only at the state level, but at the national level as well. When we filmed the Navy dumping plastic waste right off the North Carolina coast, which led to congressional hearings, which I had to go up and testify before. That was, that was kind of intimidating. And then, you know, to see corrective change, the Navy equipping their ships with the necessary recycling gear, and then all of the major changes that came about after our documentary Troubled Rivers ran, collaboration and cooperation among various political entities, and that brought about some terrific change for the quality of our rivers. I was just blown away by the going away party WRO gave me. I had no idea it was gonna be so grand and wonderful. But that's, that's the WREL way, you know? You work hard and play hard, and then in the end, when it's time to retire, they treat you as they've always treated you with a great deal of respect. I heard the music of North Carolina. I probably was a musician before I was a journalist. I've always had a, a tune kind of running in my head. Folk singers and bluegrass pickers, country crooners and city slickers. I listened and I loved it all. I find more joy in writing music than probably anything I do in my life. It's almost like a spiritual experience. I've been called a landscape composer. I get inspired by beautiful scenes, beautiful vistas. My love for the state stretches from, you know, the mountains to the coast. I was working hard at TV and I was working hard at music and I'm very appreciative of uh, my, my family for putting up with me, <laughs> with my crazy hours, getting up at 2.30 in the morning to have the freedom to pursue two things that you really love like that. I feel very blessed. Thank you.